In just 10 minutes, extreme rainfall can flood an entire city's underground levels, shut down transit systems, and account for over 40% of global disaster damage. That is why, over the past few decades, flood prevention technologies have become a critical line of defense for many cities. The frightening reality is that these disasters give humans almost no time to react. When just one link in the infrastructure chain fails, the entire urban system can collapse in a domino effect. In today's video, Mandarin Tech takes you inside some of the most advanced flood control technologies in the world. Where water is no longer just a threat, but the very trigger that activates systems designed to protect cities from natural disasters. At this time each year, Iron Bridge once again faces rising river levels. The River Severn flows directly through this small village, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. But in recent years, Iron Bridge has no longer been paralyzed by flooding, after the Environment Agency began deploying the geodesign flood barrier system along the Wharfage Road. Whenever there is a risk of flooding, a temporary barrier stretching up to 550 meters is quickly installed, forming a highly effective defensive line. The entire system is pre-packed in metal cages, making it easy to transport and deploy when needed. Well-trained technical teams can assemble and dismantle the barrier with increasing speed, precision, and efficiency. First, the support legs are positioned at staggered heights, then raised and locked into an upright position. The supports are leveled using shift plates to compensate for uneven ground. Next, metal panels are mounted and secured onto the supports. A polyliner is then laid in front of the barrier folded over the top and fastened with clips. Finally, chains are placed along the outer edge to press the liner tightly against the ground, ensuring a watertight seal even on uneven terrain. The presence of the flood barrier has had a clear impact on local life. Riverside pubs, hotels, and shops continue operating normally during the rainy season, while homes remain safely protected from rising waters. Flood protection does not always require massive, permanent structures. In many emergency situations, temporary flood barriers can be the most effective solution. The no-flood system uses two water-filled tubes placed side-by-side -side inside a technical, woven fabric casing. When filled with water, these tubes form a lightweight yet highly stable barrier, strong enough to divert and block floodwaters. Compared with traditional methods such as sandbags or temporary cofferdams, this approach is considered revolutionary. With no flood, deployment typically takes only a few hours, and at most one day. Labor and equipment costs are significantly reduced. In addition, the system can be used to isolate flooded work zones, allowing water to be pumped out and enabling workers to continue construction in much drier conditions. This directly improves both efficiency and work quality. Post-use handling is another major advantage. Once water levels recede, the tubes are simply drained on site with no complex dismantling required. The entire system is then cleaned rolled up using specialized equipment and transported back to storage. Both the technical fabric and the water-filled tubes are designed for repeated reuse, lowering long-term costs and leaving almost no permanent impact on the site. No Flood's Easy Wall is a modular, temporary flood barrier system designed for situations that require extremely rapid deployment. Unlike flood barriers that rely on water-filled tubes, Easy Wall works on the principle of water-activated stability. The more water pressure it faces, the more stable the system becomes. In terms of design, Easy Wall consists of lightweight barrier panels made from impact-resistant, UV-stable engineered plastic. Each module has a distinctive curved shape. This geometry allows flood water pressure to be distributed horizontally and pressed downward into the ground, rather than pushing the wall over. The modules are connected using simple mechanical locking joints, allowing them to be assembled in straight lines, right angles, or wrapped around protected areas. The base of each module is designed with increased friction, enabling the system to remain stable even on wet asphalt or smooth concrete surfaces. Easy wall requires little to no excavation or complex ground preparation. Workers simply place the modules on the ground, lock them together along the protection line, and the system is ready. As flood waters rise, the weight and pressure of the water itself create a natural anchoring force that holds the barriers firmly in place. This allows Easy Wall to be deployed within tens of minutes to a few hours, 
rather than days like sandbags or temporary levees. The system is particularly effective for urban flooding caused by heavy rainfall, storm surges, or rapidly rising rivers. A key advantage is reusability. Once the water recedes, the modules are washed, stacked, and returned to storage, leaving no waste or long-term impact on the site. While residential areas are often the most visibly and directly affected by flooding, large cities with dense infrastructure are actually the most critical hidden weak points. For this reason, many cities around the world have begun adopting self-closing flood barriers, SCFBs, as a passive yet highly effective line of defense. SCFBs operate on a unique principle, using water to fight water. Under normal conditions, the system remains hidden beneath road surfaces or inside technical channels, causing no disruption to daily life or traffic. When floodwaters arrive, water flows into a specially designed intake channel and fills an internal chamber within the system. As the water level rises, it activates panels or floating elements that gradually lift the barrier wall up from the ground. This entire process happens fully automatically. No electricity, no complex sensors, and no human intervention are required. Notably, as flood water continues to rise, the pressure of the water itself becomes a reinforcing force, pressing the barrier more tightly against the ground in rubber seals, making the system even more stable and watertight. When the flood recedes, water drains out of the chamber and the barrier lowers back down by gravity, restoring the original surface without the need for dismantling or manual resetting. When properly deployed, SCFBs can effectively protect critical infrastructure such as power plants, electrical substations, data centers, subway entrances, and urban basements. These are locations where even a single flooding event can cause massive economic losses, disrupt the lives of millions, and potentially threaten lives if failures occur during peak hours. Flooding a home or business is one of the worst experiences any family or property owner can face. That's why a company in Ireland has developed the Floodgate Dam Easy System, a portable flood protection solution designed for fast deployment, simple operation, and installation without any permanent changes to the building structure. The system is built to stop flood water from entering directly through doorways and can be set up in less than five minutes. To use it, the user simply removes the barrier from its protective case, places it at the base of the doorway, and adjusts the width to match the opening. The side panels are then expanded using a ratchet handwheel until they press firmly against the doorframe. Next, the ceiling gasket is inflated with a hand pump to a pressure of about two bar, creating a tight seal that blocks all gaps and prevents water from getting through. For locations that require extra protection, the system can also be used with adhesive reinforcement pads for the door frame corners, as well as a security metal plate that locks onto the barrier, making it extremely difficult to move or tamper with from the outside. Floodgate is flexible enough to be used on residential doors, shop entrances, commercial properties, and garage doors, making it suitable for a wide range of flood scenarios. Once the flood water recedes, the user simply opens the air release valve to deflate the gasket, retracts the side panels, and lifts the barrier out of the doorway. The unit is then cleaned, folded, and stored back in its protective case, ready for the next use. With its simple yet effective design, Floodgate provides a practical, lightweight, and proactive flood defense solution for areas that regularly face flooding risks. Quick Dam Floodgates are designed to quickly seal doorways and openings in the path of rising floodwaters. This is a portable, removable flood barrier system optimized for fast deployment, simple operation, and no structural modification to the building. In use, the barrier is placed directly into the doorway, the expansion mechanism is extended, and the perimeter is sealed using advanced neoprene sleeve technology. Within just a few minutes, a 26-inch high barrier can be fully installed. No drilling, no cutting, and no specialized tools required. The product's design allows users to step over the barrier easily, maintaining access to the property while the area remains protected from water intrusion. The system can be installed indoors or outdoors, making it suitable for homeowners, businesses, facility managers, and properties located in flood-prone areas. Quick Dam floodgates can protect openings ranging from 25 to 52 inches in width. For larger areas, the system can be 
expanded using support posts and extension panels. With its rapid and effective deployment, QuickDam floodgates enable users to take a proactive approach to flood protection, minimizing damage, and staying prepared for unexpected flooding events. Not all flood prevention solutions are massive walls built to block or redirect water. In many cases, the most effective approach is to manage water right where it falls, before it has a chance to cause flooding. That is the idea behind Top Mix Permeable, a special type of permeable concrete designed to support urban drainage systems. Unlike conventional concrete, which is solid and impermeable, Top Mix Permeable has a porous structure. Its surface layer is made of relatively large aggregate stones bonded together, creating thousands of tiny gaps that allow rainwater to pass through the concrete almost instantly. The water then flows down into the layers below, where it is temporarily stored and gradually released into the underground drainage system. A typical top mix permeable installation consists of three main layers. The permeable concrete surface on top, which directly receives rainfall, a base layer beneath it, often made of porous rubber or crushed stone that acts as a temporary storage reservoir and a supporting drainage system that carries the water away from the protected area. On average, each square meter of top mix concrete can absorb up to about 600 liters of water per minute, an especially impressive figure in dense urban environments. Thanks to advanced compaction and material bonding technologies, Top Mix Permeable is strong enough to withstand the weight of vehicles, making it suitable for use on city streets, parking lots, and residential driveways. The massive caissons leave the casting yards to enter a phase of installation that demands near-perfect precision, supported by one of the largest hydraulic lifting systems ever used in a marine environment. On the water, a synchronized lifting frame made up of 26 steel beams each 57 meters long, acts as the main support, allowing millimeter level adjustments. Support vessels guide the caisson along a route surveyed by hydrographic data and satellite positioning before it is transferred to a heavy lift catamaran made of two barges connected by steel structures and equipped with 20 hydraulic jacks for load balancing. At the installation point, defined by radar and 3D modeling, the caisson is lowered at an extremely slow rate, only a few millimeters per second. The tolerance is just 1 to 2 centimeters, as even a slight deviation could affect the alignment of the entire system. Once it settles perfectly into the prepared trench, the caisson locks into place, forming the first foundation layer of the Mohs barrier beneath the Adriatic. At this stage, the gate is lifted off the barge and moved into the installation process, where every motion is controlled with absolute precision. Imagine a 210-ton steel structure suspended above the water, hanging over the open sea, moving so slowly that it resembles a giant metal snail. The entire operation lasts three continuous days, without any allowance for even the slightest deviation. To lower the gate into place, engineers assemble a special scaffolding structure made of four steel towers connected by horizontal beams each beam equipped with four cable jacks capable of adjusting load and tension in sync. This support system is known as the fishing beam because it holds and suspends the gate before lowering. Below it, an accurately aligned base frame guides the entire tower assembly. Once all connections are secured, a specialized barge carrying four crane systems is positioned and linked to the tower frame. From there, hydraulic strand jacks begin lowering the gate into the water at a rate so slow it's barely visible. Radar, load sensors, and inclination monitors track every reading because even a minor mistake could cause the massive structure to drop to the seabed, resulting in millions of dollars in damage and halting the installation schedule. Only when the gate fits perfectly onto the caisson hinge below the seafloor are the locking pins activated, marking the moment a section of the Mohs McMillan shield is officially completed beneath the Adriatic. Next, let's explore how this system actually works to protect Venice from extreme high tides. Mohs is only activated when the tide level rises more than 100 in above average sea level. Below that threshold, flooding only affects a few low-lying areas, and closing the gates too often could reduce water quality in the lagoon. Thanks to scientific forecasting models, tides can be predicted days in advance. But the final decision is made only about three hours before the peak. Any later, 
and there wouldn't be enough time to raise all the gates too early, and Mose would operate when it isn't truly necessary. When activated, all 78 gates rise, forming four flood barrier lines. The gates are held at an angle of about 45 Dordi, while the system constantly adjusts the water levels inside each gate to maintain safe tilt and balance. Once the flood recedes, water is pumped back into the gates to weigh them down, and they slowly return to their horizontal resting position on the seafloor. This leads to an important question. Does Mose really work? The answer is yes. The first piece of good news came in October 2020, when Mose passed its first major test. During that trial, it successfully protected the city from a 1.3-meter tide, and it has succeeded multiple times since. However, that doesn't mean flooding has been eliminated, because nature always has surprises. In December, Mose failed to stop an unexpected surge, and water once again poured into the city. Images of residents wearing boots and struggling through flooded streets resurfaced, despite hopes tied to Moses' arrival. Some assessments even suggest that if the tide were to rise two feet, Mose could become ineffective. Flooding is not going away. As the climate continues to warm and cities keep expanding, water will always find new weaknesses in human-made infrastructure. The question is no longer whether floods will happen, but how prepared we are when they do. Modern solutions, from mobile flood barriers and systems hidden beneath streets to concrete that can absorb hundreds of liters of water per minute, reflect a new mindset. Instead of fighting water, we are learning to control it and work with it. If you found this video useful, please like it and follow Mandarin Tech to explore more technologies quietly protecting the modern world.